All right, guys, I've had enough of this negativity for today. Why would I sit here and just hear complaint after complaint? So, so where are you going? Go Everyone around you complains. Where no, I'm going to go surround myself with positive vibes and love. Good for you, Court. Hello everyone! Today's video is a really exciting one because I'm going to be recreating one of Kourtney Kardashian's Instagram pictures. Why, you may ask? Let me clarify that for you. People started telling me that I looked like Kourtney Kardashian when I had my hair straight like this. And I thought that was just really funny because I never really saw the resemblance. But when I have full makeup on and my hair straight like this, I do kind of have like a small little resemblance to Kourtney. And I just thought, okay, let me take that as a challenge. Let me see if I can recreate one of Kourtney's pictures and actually look like her. So here. Here we are. Today I'm gonna be basically doing full gum and I'm gonna be recreating this picture of her. <laughs> As you can tell we are wearing kind of like the same sweater. On her picture she is wearing on this side three gold buttons. I do not have those three buttons on mine but I feel like fabric is really similar. Her turtleneck is way higher than mine but I think that can still work. Yeah this is the most similar thing I had. Oh, we're gonna make it work. Let's just start with the makeup. All right so for starters I've already prepped my skin. And I've used the Hydra Genius L'Oreal Aloe Water. Aloe? Aloe? Oh, I don't really know how to run it, I'm sorry. My next step is gonna be priming my skin. I'm gonna prime my eyelids and my T-zone. I really am excited for this video. Oh my god, I'm also kind of scared of the final result. What if I don't actually look like Kourtney and then I'm just making a fool of myself? Something I also really love is the way the Kardashians speak. Oh my god, I mean Kylie Jenner also... I feel like Kendall does not actually speak the same way as her sisters. I don't know if you've also noticed, or maybe it's just me, but I really love the way they speak. Like Kylie, Chloe, Kourtney, and Kim, they speak with such a soft way. It's, it's really weird because they all speak the same way. Well, and today I'm going to be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. It's so difficult to buy foundations. I don't know if you agree with me. It's a bit challenging to find your right skin color. Now with the wet sponge, I'm just going to blend all the foundation. Oh my god, I hate to see where the beginning of foundation begins. Blend to the core, because that way it's gonna be homogeneous and not two different colors on your face, because that's just not nice. Alright amigos, after that's done, what we're gonna do is set everything in place. And for that, I'm gonna use the Super Powder Double Face Makeup, also by Clinique. With the big fluffy brush, I'm gonna tap. Oh my god, I forgot! My concealer! Rewind! Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Oh my god, I literally forgot about concealer. I mean, it's like my favorite part. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. In the picture, Kourtney has a really highlighted cupid's bone. And then, because she has really defined cheekbones, I'm also gonna apply concealer right here, right here, so I can work on my cheekbones. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder And now we are all set Her brows are like, they're thinner at the end And they have like, they're like rounded Let's try And then we just push them upwards Now I'm going to try to get her facial structure By contouring and bronzing my skin The Dior Backstage Contour Palette As I said, she has really defined cheekbones So we're going to work on that I'm going to try to make my chin a bit more like hers So a bit longer and like brown Did that work? Then I'm gonna bronze. She is wearing bronzer right here. Now I'm gonna try to contour my nose as hers. She has more of like a white nose. Hmm. Something that is also really catching my attention is how her cupid's bow is shaped of the side. It's like really noticeable. So I'm gonna try to contour that. Alright, now I'm gonna use a bit of blush because she is a bit 
pinkish on the cheeks and for that I'm gonna use the blush by Essence honestly I gotta say I'm really impressed by this blush because the other day I just went down to the store and oh my god I looked at this blush and I was like it looks cute right I like it because I don't like shimmery blushes I just can't and then I bought it and then you know I didn't have like high hopes for anything that is from Essence and I'm really impressed I really like it it's really nice it's smooth and it does last long so go you Essence and after all of that is done I'm just gonna proceed to do my eyeshadow she's definitely wearing eyeliner she has more like a brownish eyeshadow with my Morphe 350 Old palette and I'm gonna really gently pack the color right here on the outer side of my eyelid so that's how the eyes would look like i'm gonna try oh my god i'm so bad at doing eyeliner i literally never do eyeliner because i don't know how to do eyeliner but i'm gonna try the darkest eyeshadow that i have how do people do this oh my god you have my like no sincere respect do you close your eye do you not close your eye do you open do you blink do you not blink like i have no idea okay this is as good as it's gonna get i think it's decent it's not the worst but it's not perfect either so now for highlighter i'm gonna use my most fair highlighter which would be from the makeup revolution ultra pro glow palette the one that i used in my first makeup tutorial ever that was my first youtube video as a matter of fact you can go check it out so i'm gonna use this color right here i forgot to set my eyebrows try to freaking lift these eyebrows man now I'm gonna do my lips. She's wearing really nude lips and the closest thing I have to a nude lip would be this and even this is way too dark for what she's wearing. So what I'm gonna do is like a small little experiment here. It's all about experimenting. I'm gonna take my, my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm gonna apply it on my lips. So now that I look like a freaking ghost, I'm gonna take the lipstick and I'm just gonna tab it. And then I'm gonna proceed and apply gloss because she has really glossy lips. So let me add like 500 layers of mascara real quick. Do I actually look like Kourtney? I think by now you can start calling me Irina Kardashian. Did I do it? Now it's just the final touch up. I'm gonna set my face. Can you tell I'm Spanish? Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's, it's about, about dancing learning in to the rain. Dance. No, let me finish. Oh. If you don't know it, you don't know it. Sorry. It's about learning to dance in the rain. I just don't think that's healthy. Alright guys, and this was all for today. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this where you recreate famous people or people that you feel like I look like. But I really had a lot of fun. I love Kourtney Kardashian to be honest. She's a mood. I'm honestly really similar to her in certain way. Just let me know in the comments below if you actually think that I look like Kourtney or if I actually do not look like Kourtney. Happy with the results. And even though I might not look like Kourtney, I like this style and this makeup look. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, keep the good sense rolling, spread positivity, and I'll see you in the next one. This is such a joke. This is so unprofessional. Like, I can't even believe that people act this way.